This is what I have a question from chapter 35, verse 43. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وأقسم بالله جهد أيمانهم لا ينجاهم نظير لا يكونون أحد من إحدى الأمم فلما جاءهم نظير ما زادهم إلا نفورا and they swore by Allah their strongest oaths that if a warner come came to them they would follow guidance better than any other people but when when a warner came to them it only increased them in aversion. Also, my question is, if this verse is applicable to the condition of the Muslims, after yeah. the, if, if this verse is applicable to the condition of the Muslims, after the advent of the Prophet Messiah, I yeah. think it's applicable in the first place to the situation prevailing at the time of Ahadu <coughs> Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The people of Arab were not warned for a long time, including the Jews and the Christians, etc. In the Arab world, for a long time there had not appeared any prophet of God. So they used to boast, if, it, if, if a prophet came to us, would be the most well-guided people in the world, not like those who went astray. Then the Prophet of God, Hazrat Rasulullah came as a warner, and they rejected him. So, just to swear by God, the strongest of oaths is not sufficient. They should have begged Allah to help them to accept this honor. The same, of course, applies to the present day. Before Hazrat Muslim, all the Muslims were waiting for a warner of this time in the form of Imam Mahdi or a Jesus as they thought, personal. Jesus but they were waiting anyway and they were making vows that which once it comes to us we'll aid him we'll offer every sacrifice for the sake of Islam but when he came we just denied and rejected him and followed the same path as the people of the time of Rasulullah had done Right.